Hello and welcome back to a new video tutorial from Ion. I'm Robert and I would like to show you today how to use the length of the velocity vector to define the color of a particle. So let's start with a new composition. Add a particle emitter, particle renderer, hit play and you will see some particles are created at the origin. Decrease the number a bit, increase the velocity and velocity variance and the angel variance to 360 degrees to let the particle fly around with a different speed assigned to each particle. We also change the particle style to engines and add a background tool to create the image gradient with the colors which are later assigned to the particle color itself. Red color at the start, blue color at the end and the green color in the middle of the gradient. We use a particle custom tool to define the colors of the particles. At first we have to find out the actual length of the velocity vector by using a calling expression for it in the intermediate 1 slot. Switch over to the particle tab and use this intermediate 1 value to look at the according coordinate in the input image with the gradient. You see that all particles are now colored with the first color of our gradient. This is why we scaled the intermediate 1 value using the number 1 slider. So we have to change this slider value here as well to 10 and you will see all our particles are colored according to the gradient dependent on its speed. You can now change the uh, behavior of the gradient and the behavior of the particle colors by scaling them down or we change the gradient in the background uh, tool itself to change the color characteristics of the particle. That looks pretty nice. And let's add a particle friction tool to show that this technique works also in conjunction with all other particle tools affecting the speed or the velocity of the particles. And I used this technique in my first example with a more complex particle simulation. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.